Okay, so the first sequence uh, for this question, we uh, there's a DNA sequence file in CSV format. So once we read into it, uh, we make sure the sequence are read as uh, uh, characters and not numbers. And then uh, the key is to remember to use the R command table. It tabulate every occurrence. So, so in this case, if, if we just run the table directly, it's just counted the occurrence of A, C, G, T, and in this case, there are also ends. Apparently, this sequence has some uh, low quality information. So. When when the sequence when the sequencing machine cannot tell uh, whether it's A T or C G and then put N there, so those are the the frequency that counts for every nucleotide. But the question asks uh, for uh, fractions. Uh, oh, wait, the I guess the question asks for the fractions of a, of the each nucleotide. So. So what we can do is just the length of uh, this, ta this uh, table is basically the number of nucleotides in that sequences. And we divided uh, the total occurrence by the total, the, the, we divide each nucleotide by the length of these sequences, and then it will be just a fraction of it. So there, so Fra the nucleotide by infraction. <coughs> So for the second uh, part of this question, uh, you are asked to generate a random sequence based on the first sequences, and then write it into a, a file. So the key is really to use this uh, function in R called sample. Uh, sample by default is a sample without replacement. Uh, oh, I forgot to put the sample there. Yeah. So by default, it's a sample the, the without replacement is basically the permutation. But in biological sequence, we want to do sample with replacement. So we change this to two. So if, if, if we want to generate 10 random sequences, uh, if we do it naively, we can just generate 10 random sequences, sequence one, two, Three, four to ten, and then we use a C find, which is find by column, and then put everything into a, a table. And just write that one out to a CSV file. Uh, now, you act, you actually will get a full credit if you do this, but there's a reason why we are doing here. <laughs> write a code. That's what we are using a loop. So if we want to use the loop, uh, we can still use the sample command, start with the first random sequence. And then we have nine more uh, random sequence to generate. So now we first also uh, put out the, the first sequence into an output table. We still use the C band. In this case, it's just one column. And then we use the loop, say I from one to nine. So we want to add nine more random sequences. And still call this sequence again. This time we don't call sequence one, two, three, four, five anymore, and since it's going to be a loop. So I just call it sequence I. And then after generate, I just put the sequence I into the output file using the C bind again. In, except this case, I always put uh, extra column into the output table and then put everything again back into the same output file. So after that, we can just write this one out. Write out, write CSV file. Output, out, sequence, CSV. And then that's just uh, write everything out. 